Hello, my name is Ben and I'm happy and I'm back with yet another recommendation. This time it's from Louis. Louis has recommended FKA Twigs' album Magdalene. The genre on Apple Music is electronic, so this is definitely going to be an interesting ride for me. I don't really listen to a lot of electronic music. However, I'm super keen, super excited. I've had some great recommendations so far, so let's hope this is another banger. Let's get straight into it. The first song is called Thousand Eyes. Okay, creepy. If I walk out Very like churchy if you don't It's so disjointed, now we're here oh. So pretty oh, the Vibrations oh. such a hypnotic trance like song I did not expect that to be the opening song to an electronic album I think I'm gonna be quite shocked as this album goes on which is super exciting constant repetitive lyrics was it was very hypnotic and just the different production that went into that very church like which I guess makes sense with the album called Magdalene so I think hopefully we're gonna get some of those recurring themes the random sounds were amazing I'm super keen I just yeah, like I said I kind of like was just just sitting here <laughs> listening to the music which is a good thing right the next song is called home with you let's go breathe breathe pain it's almost like rap the like rap to begin with and then those high melodic choruses were insane i actually feel like i'm not really listening entirely to the lyrics because it is such a musical experience you should have told me you were, you were lonely because i was lonely too and i would have been home with you that's the essence of the song and it's so that in itself is so cute and then just how she's produced it to be this epic yearning yeah wow epic 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 i'm getting, getting goosebumps now i'm really getting into this album the next song is called sad day it has a star it's called sad day so let's go i'm also a bit it's electronic, it's not really how I thought electronic would be, so let's go. Ooh, I like this intro. Everything is just the same as before you. It's a sad day for sure. Is that her vocals would you make a wish on my love oh my god I really I'm really wanting a banger breakdown so I'm hoping we get that on this song <laughs> Would you make a, make a, make a wish on my 
far definitely deserves a star. The hard thing to struggle with to keep up on a first listen is the lyrics and the production because the production is so hypnotic and it's you get lost in that and the lyrics are so meaningful and so deep. However, you can kind of rush over them if you're too focused on that, which is what I'm kind of doing. That almost sounded like, I don't know, giving your virginity to someone. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. That was only, I guess, the kind of bit I tuned in at. It's so good. So it's, it has, it does remind me a bit of uh, melodrama by Lord. Just some of the, the not, it's nothing like that at all, but it just reminded me and it kind of gave me that reminiscent nostalgic feel, which I think is, is so prominent these days because a lot of the albums I've been reacting to have given me that. It's definitely awesome to see people recommending me stuff that I actually vibe with because again, this has the lyrics and the sounds are just insane. You really don't know where. Here we go, which is what I really like about this chick. FK Twigs, you're on it, girl. The next song is called Holy Terrain featuring Future. Explicit and it's got a star, so we're in for a goodie. Yeah. This right here sounds so like a Rihanna track from like break cup with your cup and it's that vibe. <laughs> What's interesting about that is that some of the writers are Jack Antonoff, which is obviously Taylor Swift Lord, and Skrillex. So random. A lot of writers for that song. It was probably my least favorite. I'm not a super big fan of dude rappers, and it actually did sound like an Ariana track, which isn't a bad thing. I do like Ariana, however, I don't know, it just didn't really fit with the first three songs. Like, they, they were very electronic, experimental. Yeah, I don't know. Just didn't vibe with it, unfortunately. I don't really like songs where it's just like, eh, you threw gold on your butt. I don't know. I just, yeah, not my vibe. Next song, though, is called Mary Magdalene. The tr album is called Magdalene, so I'm super keen to hear this song. I love a good Catholic reference. Let's go. Yeah, this is my vibe. scraped across stone. I'd love to see how they made all these sounds. Cool song, interesting. I don't know, I'm a bit. The last song really threw me out of where I was at, so I was trying to kind of get back into it. I, that, that holy terrain, it made no sense in this track order. Love that Mary Magdalene. Again, these songs, what I've noticed as well is the lyrics are quite repetitive in every song, which isn't a bad thing. It's just, I guess, it can get a bit boring. I don't know, I'm kind of in a, I'm in a bit of a mixed mindset at the moment. The first three, I think Sad Day is my favourite still so far. The next song, however, is number six. It's called Fallen Alien. So this could really bring me back into it. I'm hoping. Let's go. Track number six. Don't let me down. <laughs> This could be a really climatical partner move where it's just like everything's going chaotic and this song is playing and it's just, yeah, this is definitely a psychotic song. It's psycho. I don't think she even wrote that song. That's random. Interesting. Lots of, yeah, I don't know. It's a bit random how many writers there are. And I don't know if that's because they're uh, crediting like the producers on the music, because that would make sense. Yeah, we're back. that was a cool experimental kind of sound. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really thrown by the album, actually. It's not what I thought it was going to be, which isn't a bad thing. I just, I just went in with different ideas. I'm just going to keep going. I don't really know what I'm thinking at the moment. The next song is called Mirrored Heart. Explicit. Let's go. Sounds so Lana Del Rey. Oh my god. Did you want me all the time? 
What a song. That's definitely the second best. Sad Day and Mirrored Heart is so good. Wow. Again, the lyrics were so much more expanded on than just repeating the same things. It was a, yeah, the melodic Lana Del Rey vibes for sure. I love the instruments. I love the production. I loved her lyrics. I loved her voice. That's definitely more my kind of vibe. And which is funny because I guess it's more sad, more cohesive and more, I guess, a whole, a whole thing. I don't know. Like I said, I'm really thrown by this album, which I think I'm going to need a lot more time with that to actually listen because because I've never really listened to this type of music, I'd say, before. So I think my brain's like, what is going on? The next song is called Daybed, Explicit. Let's go. Oh, I love the organs. I'm a sucker for a church organ. The lyrics are sick. I really, I think I, I, I kept getting lost in a lot of the music and then when I tuned into the lyrics, it was just so bizarre, so weird and you want to know more. So I think that's, that song was lyrically one of the best. Jaded is my father, childlike is my answer. So she called, is she calling him childish in reply to him being jaded? The kind of lingus one, I'm like, what? I need a, I think, yeah. Please tell me everything about each song because I definitely think my brain is not at her level of, she's an alien and I'm like, I'm trying to decode everything while trying to, like my ears are trying to adjust to this type of music. Like I really didn't think this is what electronic was. It's very weird <laughs> and it's definitely not mainstream. So I think it's taking a bit for me to really get used to. The last song is called Cellophone. 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 Oh my god. I can't. I'm blind. The last song is called Cellophane. Only nine songs, however, that's honestly enough. It's still a 40 minute album and I absolutely need therapy after listening to this album because I don't know what the hell is going on anymore and what is real life. Cellophane. Let's go. Last song. Let's end it. Don't do it. Interesting way to end the album. I definitely am, I know if I listen to this more and actually get, there's, there's, honestly the reason I can't even freaking explain much is because there actually is so much more. It's so deep, just within that song, it just clicked that there was, it was actually a dude going ch -ch -ch -ch, uh, whereas like you just think that was a snare. So again, even that in itself is like, what? Like that in its song. The, uh, yeah, it's really thrown me and it's not what I'm used to. And that's really a good thing. This, like I said, there's three, the three banger songs for me. I think they had the most lyrical, cohesive, like storyline and things like that, which I guess I related to. There was a lot of repetitive lyrics. The sounds on some of them were just insane. And just again, not what you'd hear in normal music. I did not like Holy Terrain. Why is it in the album? It makes no sense other than if it's just been released as a single. However, each two of their own own. Really cool. Weird. I don't know. <laughs> I think, but I think that's awesome about listening to different types of music, right? Is that you get, it might not be something you listen to all the time. And I don't, you don't have to like a whole album of an artist. Like three songs out of nine, that's what, a third of the album that I really enjoyed. And the other stuff I know that, like a thousand eyes actually really like two. That was some cool stuff. Thanks, Louis. I'm, I think I'm going to need to go see a psych because I don't know what I've just listened to. I don't know what I've just experienced. Have I just been injected with some kind of alien magic voodoo? I don't know. Yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. What am I? 
I missing? What have I missed? What are the songs about? Tell me more about FKA Twigs. Random. I'm so like freaked out. In a good way. I'm, I, I'm gonna go listen to Sad Days now though. Banger. If you liked the reaction, give me a thumbs up. I'm really sorry if you were obsessed with her and I didn't react in the exact way you may have liked me to react. I think overall I, I like the album, so please don't hate me. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. I'm gonna have a great day wherever I am. Ben is gonna go. Okay, I just played Sad Days again and I'm like, this is banger, 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 banger. I think I'm, I know for a fact that I'm gonna listen to this album and be so obsessed with it. So, PSA, I love the album. Make a wish on my love. That's all. Just wanna let you know that sound vibe right now. Alright, then it's gonna go bye.